Hello, my name is Vince Galvin. 30 years ago, I was part of the team here at Statistics New Zealand that developed and implemented the Household Labour Force Survey. And I'm delighted to be able to share a few insights into how it's helped us understand the New Zealand labour market over those 30 years. In 1986, when the survey started, the, the economy was doing well. But immediately afterwards, in 1987, we had the stock market crash. And that was followed by a recession. And as you can see, that bottomed out, so the employment numbers bottomed out. Look at what's happening to the colour of these graphs. They're changing colour, indicating that higher levels of New Zealanders are participating in the labour force. Now, here we go, we've had a period now, we've come out of the Asian crisis, and we've had a period of recovery, all the way through to about 2008, when we had the global financial crisis. A period of flattening, and then through to the relatively high employment levels of the last few years. Why do we have the Labour Force Survey? Well, one of the main reasons is to get a sense of what's going on underneath these numbers. So, to go back to the beginning, in 1986 and 1987, after the stock market crash, the chances of becoming unemployed, if you're employed, had their rapidest, rapidest increase right through the whole series. By contrast, in the middle of the series here, where the economy was recovering, it, your chances of staying employed, if you were employed, were the highest they've ever been. The other reason that we have the Labour Force Survey is to understand the experience of different groups of people. So let's look now at the experience of men and women. What you'll notice on this graph is that the broad shape of it is the same as the previous graph of unemployment. In the same way, the colours change as the participation in the labour market increases. But the main piece of information here is that the two series are moving together over time so that men and women are participating in the labour force at much more similar levels. But even within this big picture, there are a few smaller interesting things that happen. You'll see in the global financial crisis in 2008 that men's employment drops off quite sharply whereas women stays much flatter. The other thing we can use the Labour Force Survey for is to get some insight into the different experience in, of different geographic regions of New Zealand. Let's have a look at the map. On this display, lighter colours mean areas of low unemployment, and as the colours get darker, it means that unemployment is higher. Let's run through time and see what happens. So here we have happened. We started in 1986, things were going well, and you see now that things are getting progressively darker until we have New Zealand in shadow. This, is, of course, is the stock market crash in the period immediately afterwards. After this, you'll see there's a period of recovery. Now again, what, look what happens. Different areas recover differently. The black part persists in the far north. And as we move through time, you can see that different regions have different experiences, urban areas different from rural ones, depending on what's driving their economy. And then we get to a period in 2007 where there's a lot of light shading in the graph. It's the period of lowest unemployment that we've recorded in New Zealand. And then we can just start to wind our way through. The global financial crisis occurs. Different regions impacted differently again. And we come through to the present day. There we are. A few insights from the New Zealand Labour Force Survey. I hope you enjoyed them.